Hello guys, Manator here, and today we're back for Attention Please Part 2. Alright, so, uh, just before we continue with this, I just want to tell you what it is. Attention Please is basically an announcement video, but I call it an Attention Please because it goes with the theme of the whole army nation dictatorship. I don't know, some shit like that. So, what are the announcements today? Okay, first of all, I'd like to start by saying... I thank you for the views on the trailer. I think it was amazing. We got really high amount of views. Still didn't beat the pickup video, but whatever. And okay, yeah, that's about it. That's what I wanted to say about the festival part. The next bit is I wanted to quickly sum up. I know I said this in a GTA video, but I want to say it like proper this time. Um, I wanted to say that. A previous month or two, I was just working on different videos. It didn't really make sense. They weren't really like strict series because I wanted to just, you know, like experiment with different techniques and filming techniques and editing techniques and stuff like that. You know, just to get, you know, my hands on and get to grip, to get to grips. I think what they call it. Yeah, get to grips with like, you know, the whole filming part and aspect and. Yeah, whatnot. And um, so, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Yeah, so I think now uh, I'm more ready, and I think right now I'll be focusing on working on series rather than just like one episode, you know, a different episode for a week or whatever. Um, which brings me to my next one, actually. We started a new series, uh, it's called GTA 5 DL. However, that was meant to be a, you know, um, a continuous series, but decided to cancel it. Yes, that may be a little bit like shit news, maybe. Yeah. So apparently, what happened is the reason I'm canceling it is because, all right, as you saw in a lot of videos, I spent a lot, a lot of time waiting for a, one person to, to join, right? And in those amount of times, we could actually be playing the game, but we weren't because, you know, daily objectives required us to play a deathmatch, which took forever to join a specific type. So, I decided to cancel it. I'm not going to do GTA DO anymore. However, I am thinking of doing some sort of, like, GTA video, like, I don't know, random races or something like that. Maybe try to get some other players to play with us, like, online, like, friends or whatever. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, so, yeah, that was like three point, no, that was two points I made, right? Yeah, the like plan events and stuff like that. And then um, the GTA cancellation thing. Oh yeah, again, now the third uh, issue I wanted to say, the third thing I wanted to say is um, I'm actually thinking of creating a new series, um, which is gonna go alongside you know whatever GTA or whatever we make uh, this one's based on Skyrim a lot of you may have heard of it I think you probably have heard of it if you haven't you have no childhood you should probably just go die right now yeah I don't know why I made reference to childhood I mean it only came out about like three years ago unless you just turned like I don't know to a teenager like three years ago then you probably won't be able to play the game I don't know I think the game's like 15 or something I don't know off track Going off topic here. Anyway, so what I decided to do, let me tell you how it went actually. I was one day playing Skyrim and then I thought to myself, what if we created like a story, story based gameplay where it was like almost like documenting the life of my character and my sidekick? I think she's a sidekick? I don't know. Um, so Rama, the vampire, yeah, um, cause I realized we do a lot of crazy shit and it just feels so much more funny or more action packed or it just, it just feels epic when you do it with someone like her. Cause I, you know, I go in like swords and shit and she just goes in with magic and we're just like the best team and stuff like that. Again, off topic. Um, so yeah, I was thinking of doing that with like story based. So what it would require is just um, me recording hours of gameplay and then voicing them over with my own voice or not out of, actually I don't think I'll do any voicing for the first part but 
I think eventually we'll get into more detail about voicing, voice acting. But the first night, yeah, it was just has to be scripted acting and make sure, you know, Serrano says the right things and basically acting, pretty much, um, with in-game dialogues. So that would be this third, um, that would be the third point, and that would be a second series I really want to do. But we have to wait on that a little bit because I'm planning on buying. Actually, this just made the fourth point. Yeah. All right. So fourth point, I'm planning on to buying a custom computer. Yeah. Eventually, I was going to buy an uh, an Alienware X51. A lot of you might have heard of it. Alienware from Dell. Yeah. Pretty hardcore gaming. But ran into some few issues, so I'm deciding to build my custom one again. I'm not into this PC shit like so hardcore, so I'm not planning to buy like some two grand overly customized PC with like water cooling and shit. Nah, I'm not into that stuff. Well, I am, but I don't have knowledge of any of that stuff. So, there will be no point for me doing it. I'm just going with basic knowledge, so I'll just be like, yeah, need a fast processor, high, you know, hard drive, a good graphics card, and pretty much good RAM. Maybe that's all the PC is about anyway, I don't know. But that's what I'm going with. Uh, turned out pretty cool. Um, so if we get that in, I think it will be able to hold power to record and play like PC games. So we can easily, it's raining water, but yeah, so we can easily, you know, create new series for computing games. Like for example, Minecraft, I don't know. I just came up with that because everyone else is doing it. So. And that's the four point. Alright, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. I think that went pretty well. Yeah, just a quick heads up. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a, an awesome attire. This is the uh, the new and improved Black Flag Order High Command uniform. Yeah, it comes with a nice BDU jacket. Yeah, a black one. It comes with that name tag right here. Look at that, that's very nice. You get that navy blue tie. And then you get the nation flag on the arm. And then you get the, the legit ranks. Yep, that's like the high command. I don't even know what the ranks stand for, but don't tell anyone. So yeah, I think I'm well suited for a leader of the high command. Okay, and actually a quick thing, I just wanted to say, I think we should have, I think I was thinking of doing like a community challenge. It may be too early to do that sort of stuff. But you know, it doesn't have to try. So. What I was thinking, um, okay, uh, it's gonna happen like weekly or something like that. So this week, I'm gonna need you guys to, in the comments below, or however else you wanna send messages, or whatever, send in a bunch of ideas that you think that I should do. You know, good ideas, clever ideas, tricks, tri tips and tricks, that's how it goes. And I will see them through and probably pick the winner. If I like, oh yeah, let's do this style of gameplay or whatever. And we will actually do it in the next video. And I think in the next announcement video, if it's before the announcement video is released before the video, then we'll announce it. If not, then you just know. Because I'll probably say it in the video. So yeah, that's about it. Alright, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Because remember, Black Flag Order needs you. I don't want to go with that. Feels too weird. You know, I was actually thinking of the Black Flag Order needs you, but then the poster is like Uncle Sam needs you, so you need to point your finger and stuff like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I should just end this right now.